can do here is I can go like this. I guess make pull. We got that. Delete that. Actually, no. Uh, center it first and then delete it. And yeah, I'll take those. Use the connect tool and take these guys right here and hit E first and then move it down. Uh, however, I want to move it exactly, say, one meter. Like that. One meter? Is that one meter? That's too little. I'll say. Okay. Say two then, just to. It's way too much. One is 1.5. Alright. And um, these guys here, we can. What you do is. Just remember to add terminate cuts on and add one and uniform it. So it's going to slice it there and there. It means here and here. It didn't really make a cut all through though. I just took the edges. So I'll use the connect tool. And same with these guys here. Make, uh, use the connect tool. And that's pretty much it. You can then bevel it inwards with whatever value. But what you notice here is that this window has this kind of shape and not roundish. So that's Making this roundish later on is not that easy. So yeah, if you were to, if you want this to be round instead, then I would, you know, then I would just go over again. So that was eight. Let's see. Yeah, so that was eight. So this is a. I want a high resolution, how much higher? I don't know. 8 by 8. Yeah. Mm. Take these guys here. Delete them. that use the connect tool this use the connect tool oh it's not in the middle okay uh, center that on the X I think let's see that's eight points and this is Eight points, yeah. So this one and that one should be connected. Now instead of counting these guys over again, I, I could actually just delete that and use the mirror tool instead. Easier. Just merge. So and why is alright, I'm not sure why this is not resting on that axis, I guess I did something wrong there. So this is one that I use quite often. So center on on um, sorry, center on the Z in this case and the X. Nope, wrong. Center on the X and plus on the set. There it is. Again, E, T, move down, and we're going to move it how far? Same, I guess, 1.5 in that direction. Uh, nope, 
because I forgot to take these guys. Yeah, so that's the thing. I, I mean, I can use uh, the connect tool now and that will create this shape. Maybe you want that, but usually not. So, um, how to go about that? I think actually I will uh, use the action center origin and just scale it down. Let's see if I can if I take all of those points, hit E, and scale it up now. Uh, did that work? Kind of. Okay, that's kind of like one way going about it. But all right, so you get it. You can delete those guys now. And then you'll get that kind of shape. And then I can finally hit ET and move these guys down to what an hour because I didn't select this guy here. ET and move that down to oh come on. I guess I forgot to merge or something like that. Yeah. One more time. ET. There it is. Minus 1.5. What? Really? Okay, there's something with the scale. I changed the scale of the window. <laughs> So, all right, say minus one then. Um, and then we got this guy here that I showed you earlier. And, well, yeah. Can I use the connect tool on those? No. Deselect and use connect tool and connect tool. is a longer preview than I wanted to show you but um, yeah I'm not sure if you can save those points um, let's try it because I want to try to see if I can save those for later on Let's just select everything and make a point selection set group. Okay. So if I go back here now, I can select that group. I'm not sure if that's going to stick because if I use the bevel tool now, will it will it float? I don't know. Um, I'm not so sure. Yeah, that's what happened. Um, so okay, contract that selection then. Doesn't want to do that. Expand contract. No. Is there any smart way of getting a hold of those guys? That's the outer ones. Yeah, okay. So yeah. That's the outer ones. So I guess I could just group that now as group one. So if I invert that, yeah, so if I invert this, I could hopefully move that up. Yeah, right, cool. So you might want to do 
that as well. Just move those up slightly or a lot. Yeah, I, I didn't really have had to save the, the polygon, the, the point selection, but uh, still could be of use. Took some time, but I don't know. Might be might be faster ways, but I think that's pretty close. So anyway, just um, if you're doing this kind of stuff, then just yeah, maybe you you got some ideas on how to start it and how to improve it. All right, so this is going to be a reply to this thread.